Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes, to Day of the Tentacle. I tell you, I really wanted to record this a lot sooner, but because I was doing Fire Watch with Far Cry Primal, I've had to put this off a little bit. But thankfully, that's given me enough time to play through the whole game, platinum it, learn every single puzzle. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this should be a very smooth, easy, fun, enjoyable playthrough. But we already know that I'm going to fuck up over and over and over. <laughs> so, uh... Let's get right into it. I'll tell you, this is a brilliant bloody game, this is. New game. Your autosave data will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes. Yes, I do. Would you like to enable the developer's commentary? Not particularly, because I will be doing the commentary. Thank you. I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take on, on the world. world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion.
Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Don't worry, Bernard. I already know where Dr. Edison's secret lab is. Holy shit, that has got to be like the longest bloody intro of any video game ever. <laughs> right, now uh, before we start, this game is very similar to Grim Fandango Remastered, a game that I did last year in February, and also Broken Age, another game I did last year. It's very, very puzzle orientated. It's the kind of game where you've got to find tons of materials and use them with different characters to solve different puzzles just to get to the end of the game. It's, it's very good, this game. <laughs> Okay, so, what do we want to do first? First, we're going to need to find Dr. Edison's lab. But before we do that, there's a couple of things we're going to want to pick up in here. Actually, what's that? Is that a flyer? Can we pick that up? I need to remember the buttons, because I've not actually played this for about a week. Yeah, you press square on things, and you've got different options of what you want to do with things. You can pick them up, give them to people, use them, and all that good stuff. Okay. Window, help wanted sign. Yes, we're going to need this as well. Just gonna, I just got to try and make sure I remember to pick everything up. Because I, when I did this on my own, I think it took about six hours. So I'm hoping I can do this in about four hours for YouTube. And uh, everything just goes smoothly. Uh, chuck the plant. <laughs> I can't touch it, it's spiny. Well, you could touch the pot, couldn't you, Bernard? Well, I'll be honest with you, War Have you noticed about two seconds ago, that fat kid named Hoagie, I think we should rename him Fat Slash, because if any of you guys have ever uh, listened to the band Guns N' Roses, they're a pretty old rock band, there is a guy in it who is pretty much the main guitarist who does all the guitar solos, he's an absolute genius, and his name is Slash, and he wears a top hat, he's got big black long hair and sunglasses. That's pretty much what Hoagie is, a fat version of Slash from Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Okay, right, I think, yeah, we also need to grab this little uh, dime here. This took me a while to find that dime because uh, it's pretty well camouflaged. Oh. Is there anything in here I want to pick up? A Swiss bank book. I'm not sure if we needed to pick that up yet, actually. Holy shit, look, Darth Vader's on the calendar. Now, um, this was, when this game was made, it was made by LucasArts and Double Fine. So, uh, there's quite a few references in this game to, like, Star Wars and stuff. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, right, we're going to go straight down to his lab now. I think we've got everything we need for the, for the time being. So, we're going to go down to his secret lab. Going to open the door. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Mostly because we literally cannot go anywhere else. God damn it, Bernard. <laughs> Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world, had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Um, <laughs> Did you say Bernard? Oh shit. God damn it, okay, Bernard. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. 
Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? I gotta agree with you. Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. <laughs> Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? I agree. No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. <laughs> Look at their faces. Oh, Bernard's face! <laughs> Brilliant. Fuck it out. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Whew. Holy shit, right, so I suppose I should explain what's going on. Um, we've got Bernard here, and he has been sent to tomorrow. He was supposed to have been sent to yesterday, but he's been sent to tomorrow. So Bernard's objective throughout this game is going to be to raise $2 million um, 
to get a new diamond for that machine up there so we can get these Krona John machines working again. We've got Hoagie who has been sent 200 years in the past and his quest throughout this game is going to be trying to help the Fanding Fathers and some of the old geniuses from 200 years ago create a battery so he can use it to power his Corona John so he can get back to the present. And then we're going to have to control Laverne. And what has happened? Laverne has been sent into the present. And in the present, the tentacles have taken over the world. So pretty much humans in the, pre in the, in the future, I mean, the humans are going to be pets with the tentacles being their masters so uh, Laverne is going to have to do a bunch of shit so she can escape from the place she's being kept in and get to her Krona John that's pretty much what happens with each three characters you got him who's been sent to tomorrow you got Hoagie in the past and you've got Laverne in the uh, future so one of the things you need to remember about this game is some items you might find in the present and you need to flush it down the toilet in the Krona John so you could send it to either Hoagie or Laverne because some of the items you need are actually in the present and you might need to send them back in time. That's one of the main things that made this game a bit complicated with the puzzles and that because some items you could only Maybe find. I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Why don't you shut up? I'm pretty sure I spent most of my time in the beginning playing as Hoagie. Right, we're going to quickly go upstairs, see what Dr. Edison wants. I think he wants us to find the plans for his super battery. Oh dear. Oh, there he goes. yoo -hoo, Dr. Fred? <laughs> He's going up here. Come on, Bernard. I'll tell you, Bernard, the you got plans, an annoying walk. The plans. I'm pretty sure I was, am I supposed to be following you? I really cannot remember. I'm pretty sure I went straight to Hoagie and just started playing as Hoagie. Now, where did Dr. Fred go? Well, I mean... There's only one or two doors he could have gone in, unless he's upstairs again. Nope. Oh, dear. Okay, let's have a look in here. Can we look in there? No. I don't think we can go through this door if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it's locked. Oh no, it's not locked. Okay, that's alright then. So... Nope. Now one thing you do need to remember is in this game you can use the chimneys, chimneys as, a, um, as a shortcut. And if you do it with every character, you actually get yourself a trophy. Holy shit, look at the clan! <laughs> okay, we're going to switch over to Hoagie, because if I remember correctly... I don't think we can yet, actually. Can I? No, okay, we... Can I switch to Hoagie? Oh, no, that's the menu. Whoops. Okay, it doesn't look like we can switch over to Hoagie yet. Right, let's open this door. I'm not sure where I found... I, 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 I'm confuzzled as hell. I should have probably not left the game this long. <laughs> let's have a look. I think this is Dr. Edison's office, ain't it? Let's have a look in here. Open up this drawer. The Boo Boo Be Gone. Well, we're going to need that, so we might as well pick it up. Pretty much everything you could find in this game, you got to pick up and you will need to use it. There's a couple of items that you only need to use for trophies, but everything else you're going to need. So pick literally everything up. Right, we're going to go upstairs and we'll have a look in these doors. I guess there is a bit of stuff we need to do with Bernard. Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. <laughs> I like how to become an evil genius, the tentacle guy, the tentacle guy has uh, just gained hands. That's pretty much all he gained. Let's uh, turn the tally on. No good. I can't knock it over. No, no, no. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. <laughs> Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. One thing we're going to need to do eventually is we're going to need to get this jumper right here. So when you, one thing you do need to remember is this jumper. We can't get it yet because I think we need two dimes to get this jumper. So for now we're just going to have to ignore this. But as you saw, right here, 
Uh, we need to raise two million dollars so we can buy this diamond because we need a replacement diamond for that machine downstairs. And if you click on this phone and you've got the Swiss bank account book, then you can uh, actually talk to the woman on the uh, phone and she'll tell you about it. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. <laughs> what a bitch. What an absolute bitch. Okay. So let's have a look in here then. Oh, hang on a minute. I think there might be something in here, maybe? If I remember correctly. It's pretty darn cold. No, 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 open the machine. No way, there's... Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? Okay, no, there's nothing in there then. It's a right pain in the ass opening each of these doors individually. <laughs> we just want to click them. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Looks <laughs> like. Okay, I'm going to have to actually end the video now. Uh, we haven't really got much done in this episode, so hopefully next episode I can remember where the hell those plans were and we can start getting on with progressing through this game and then switch over to Hoagie, because it's a bit more funny with Hoagie. I really do not like Bernard. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!